Carolyn, thanks. Going to take a break. Just a second as we look at this, as President Biden is speaking, there you see, with John Tecklenburg, former city of Charleston mayor, along with North Charleston mayor Reggie Burgess, now taking a picture right there. Reggie's wife also involved in this as uh, he left as the Hannibal's uh, Soul Kitchen, the restaurant in downtown Charleston, roughly 25, 30 minutes ago. Now at Joint Base Charleston, you see the entrance to Air Force One on the right there as President Biden is getting ready to depart Charleston and head to Texas for a funeral. That's right. He's heading to Dallas, Texas right now, meeting with former Mayor John Tecklenburg and kind of a monumental moment because today the new mayor was sworn in in downtown Charleston, actually just streets away from where Biden gave that speech at Emanuel AME Church shaking hands there before he gets into Air Force One. Yeah, it's been quite a day as uh, really a campaign kicks off his campaign. President Biden here in the low country here in Charleston as he continues to talk with John Tecklenburg and Mayor Reggie Burgess. Uh, there he is heading out just minutes away right now as we've continued to cover this all day long. We know that traffic was a problem because his motorcade just made it up I-26 into Joint Base Charleston. So hopefully with the president being here now, that'll certainly alleviate some of the traffic problems that we have seen in the last half hour or so. Yeah, and I want to talk a little bit about his visit. It's actually his fourth visit to South Carolina as president. Again, he visited Emanuel AME Church. He's taking a gave, selfie. Look at him. <laughs> where he gave that. Yeah, <laughs> he's met with a lot of people today. He met with the family who owns Hannibal. So definitely a lot of people getting to meet the president today. He's giving hugs, taking selfies. A lot of people getting to speak with him today. So he was here for several hours in he, the low country. He sure was. Spoke for about 32 minutes, as we know, inside Mother Emanuel. There were some protests inside there and also outside as well. Uh, as soon as they ushered those protesters outside, he resumed his speech right there. As he just said his final goodbyes to John Tecklenburg and is heading up the stairs to Air Force One as we watch President Biden set to leave Charleston and the low country and head to Texas where he will attend a funeral there for a late congresswoman. As we know, a very busy schedule uh, for the president as he stayed here though for about six and a half hours. Got here late morning as he arrived and uh, headed down to Mother Emanuel and uh, stayed here for all afternoon before he is set to walk inside Air Force One and we'll say goodbye to President Biden. Final salutes, and there he goes off to Dallas, Texas, again for an event tonight, and then he will head back to the White House later tonight. So